guys, we have made it to Kuala Lumpur. So it is my first time here in Malaysia and right behind us is the Petronas Tower and we're in the heart of the city. So I'm already it looks amazing and I'm really excited about discovering Kuala Lumpur and see what they have to offer. Mm, so we're here to check out a few of the tourist attractions and we're very excited about the food. I'm quite hungry so let's go. Let's go. Wow, the towers are actually ginormous. It is so big. And I mean, this is just the front of it. Can't wait to actually go through and actually explore all the other ends of it. It is extraordinarily busy here. Yeah? There's a lot of uh, locals trying to get some money uh, by helping to take you take a photo for you. Um, and yeah, so it's quite busy. Super beautiful location and wow, the towers are taller than we even thought. So we've just walked through the Petronas Towers and it is a shopping center, which is a Soraya KLCC uh, shopping center. And we've noticed so far that there's a lot of water features. So there's a lot of little um, water features as there is behind us. And it's really nice because it keeps the atmosphere really, really cool. And today it's what, 30 degrees outside? It's really humid, so we're like sweating just walking through uh, around the town and around the towers itself. Mm, and it's such a cool hangout spot because there are water features. Everyone's just hanging out here, having lunch, and a um, cute little spot if you're ready to a picnic and just sort of hang out for the day, I guess. Yeah. I'm quite hungry, so let's go head to uh, breakfast, huh? Yeah, let's get something to eat. So about 15 minutes away apparently um, and can't wait, looks good. Alright, so this is the menu. Don't know exactly what to get but we've heard a few of the dishes are really good here. Um, they seem to be known for their breakfast and the all day menu. So not too sure what to get but we'll order a few things. Alright, so for breakfast, quite a late breakfast and it's very busy here and uh, we've got the kaya toast with the uh, half boiled eggs and dion has got the nasi lemak. We initially wanted to get the curry chicken, which is very popular here, but unfortunately it is sold out. Nonetheless, let's eat and let's dig in. So, put some soy sauce, eggs, and a lot of pepper. And the toast. Still very warm. And I'm just gonna break it up a bit and tip it in. Wow. Mm. That's good. So buttery. Sweetness is there. And the soy sauce from the bunny eggs is really good. Mm. That's incredible. Honestly, this is probably my second time having this. And wow, it's a real good treat for breakfast. Alright, uh, my turn. I'm starving. So we have the nazi yam lemak, which is a chicken, rice, half boiled, boiled egg, sorry, sambal, peanuts, and dried little fish. I believe it's sardines. Alright, already I don't know how I'm gonna attack this. But I'm just gonna grab a piece of chicken. Oh, it's gonna be hard. Alright. Oh, it's so crispy. Oh, super juicy on the inside. So, this is a recommended dish here in Malaysia. And I'm so glad that we get to try this. And this is my first meal. Thank you. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Really crispy chicken, really crispy, the skin. A little bit of salt and pepper on it. I'm gonna grab some rice as well, and some sambal. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. That sambal actually has a kick to it. It is super spicy. It's super spicy. And I believe the correct way of eating it is you're supposed to mix a bit of everything in 
and just grab little bits of it. I like as well how there's different kind of textures. So there's crispy chicken, the peanuts give it a little crunch, sardines also give it a little crunch, a little salty, it's really nice and sambal, amazing. Alright, so we have just finished up with lunch and I just wanted to correct myself. So earlier I mentioned that it was sardines, it is in fact not sardines, it was anchovies. Yeah, and what a way to start our day. I guess it is a late lunch, uh, so late breakfast, so it was late lunch. Um, but yeah, trying the you know national dish of Malaysia, which is nasi lemak, and then of course the you know popular uh, sort of sweet and savory, all combinations on a dish, which was the kaya toast with the hard boiled eggs, and that was so much carbs. So we're gonna have to walk it off. Yeah, that kaya <laughs> toast was a very guilty pleasure. I definitely need to walk a lot just to burn off that one meal. Yeah. And what better way, which is, what's our next destination? To the Batu Caves. Let's go. So we've just hopped into a grab um, to get to the Batu Caves, about 30 minutes from uh, KL's Chinatown and about 17 ringgits. Um, we hopped in because it's a little bit hot, so we want to get some air con, but there are other ways to get around, you know, and to the caves as well. Mm. So there is the uh, Rapid KL, which is the bus that you can use this pass for. And I believe that pass is for the LRT. Um, yep. You can use it on all mode of transports like monorail, trains and buses. MRT as well. Yeah, yeah and uh, so the card was 30 ringgit and it comes with 25 ringgit loaded um, and it doesn't expire for about 10 years. So even if we don't finish all the credit, we can use it when we come back at another time. So uh, super affordable and great way to get around uh, KL. And another thing as well is you can use that card to purchase food that we saw at vending machines. Yeah, and also a few restaurants too, which is super handy. Okay, so it is 272 steps, but actually looking from this point of view, it's very steep, so I can see everyone going down very slowly and going up even slower. Um, let's tackle this and see what's at the top. Let's go. Alright, so we're halfway up the stairs, and so far we've seen a few monkeys. Uh, really cute ones actually, but no time to actually stop to play with them and let's hopefully try and make it to the top. Yeah, so to enter if you're wearing shorts, if you're a female wearing shorts or a skirt that's above the knee, I mean you need to buy a scarf and wrap it around yourself. So the scarf we got, the scarf I got was 15 ringgit. Does it look nice? Yeah, kind of look like curtains, but um, yeah, I think you just need to cover yourself because it's a religious place. Um, surprisingly, I don't need to cover my tattoos, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, let's go make our way up the top. <laughs> that one's just eating hand sanitizer. <laughs> and we just saw someone else get their bag taken um, because it's recommended don't bring food up here. The monkeys, you know, do get hungry and they want to find something nice to eat. So just be careful and weary of that. We've made it to the top, to the caves. <sighs> Already it's really cool up here. The caves make it really, really cold. Mm. Um, apart from out there, it's really hot obviously getting up the stairs. Mm -hmm. But um, notice so far there's a lot of rubbish here at the top. Um, don't be careless when you're up here. Make sure you chuck your rubbish in the bin. Be considerate of others. But um, yeah, a lot of monkeys playing around with rubbish and hand sanitizer and all sorts. Yeah, well, I thought it would be harder to be honest, but no, we made it in good time and I'm really glad it's cool up here, so let's uh, look around. Yeah. So more stairs that way, not too sure where it leads, but the temple seems to be on the left side. Which one do you want to check out? Um, I'll check out the stairs to be honest. All right. I really want to see the inside of that cave. Alright, let's nice. make our way.
So we made it to the top and it is quite a wet one, but um, no one's slipping or anything, so that's fine. Um, it's really nice in here actually, and everyone's just really fascinated, including us. Um, of the caves. I haven't really seen a bat yet, have you? No, I've not seen one. <laughs> yeah. I've seen a rooster, <laughs> yeah. which is quite strange to see inside a cave, yeah. but no bats. And it's amazing as well, all the condensation or the water coming off the um, caves itself is crazy. Along with my forehead, I am sweating. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, like Kim said, it's a wet one here. Yeah. Just be careful when you're going up the stairs as well. Yeah, I mean the stairs are quite slim. Um, for you, I think because your feet are bigger, your foot can't like, go on the step properly. For mm. me, even then it's quite tough. So. We really have to take it easy just to get there up and down properly. Um, there are other attractions in here, so other caves I believe you can visit, which do you know have your ticket. Uh, but we made it up to the spa for free, and um, we were here pretty much to check out the stairs, the colourful stairs, as well as the Hindu guide at the front. And when you get up to the top of the stairs, um, there's a nice view of the skyline of the city. So, um, wow, what a day! So let's try and make ourselves now to our next destination, which is late lunch. Yeah. I'm kind of getting hungry to be honest, we're still full from breakfast mm. and um, hopefully by the time we get there, which shouldn't be too long actually, um, we might be hungry. Yeah, it is a hawker centre and it is a very popular hawker centre in KL, so let's head there now. Okay. So we are at one of the oldest hawker centres in KL, known as PJ Old Town Hawker Centre and uh, unfortunately we are here a little bit later, so not everything is open but a few spots we have seen looks incredible. So. Let's get a few things to eat and try some uh, Malaysian dishes. Yeah, I want to try one of the places that everyone's sitting around. So there's one behind us which is um, known for the Hokkien noodles or the Cantonese foods, which I'm really actually curious to try. Yeah. And maybe after that we might grab some dessert as well. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's, uh, let's explore a little bit and uh, get some food. Let's go. Yeah. Right. So order the beef hotel from this place. Next door we ordered tofu and also the fish curry head. Fish head curry, sorry. And yeah, we're gonna go sit down and enjoy a meal. All right, so the food has arrived. Mm -hmm. So right here we have the um, beef char kway teow, mm -hmm. which is also like a chung fun, like an egg drop kind of stir fry. Yeah, it looks saucier than uh, the usual dish that I do know, but it looks very tasty. Mm. And then here we have the curry head, mm. sorry, curry fish head, which looks very vibrant. Okra. There's okra in it, like you mentioned, fish head. Also, what is that? Cabbage? I believe it's cabbage as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll find out when we try it. Eggplant as well, I can see. Mm. And then uh, this, which looks really exciting. Is the stuffed tofu. So we've got the white tofu, and then we also have chilies stuffed with pork. Mm -hmm. and, and fried tofu mm. stuffed with, that looks like pork mince as well. And this looks good. This is really good. What do you want to try first? I'm gonna go for this. Yeah. Just simple. Yeah. Oh, already it is crispy. Alright. This looks good. Super crispy and fried on zone. Mm. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mm. I like that. It's actually seasoned, so I thought maybe the pork would be unseasoned. Mm. Juicy, salty. Crispy on the outside. Wow. Once you chew into it, it just bursts full of flavors. Mm. Juicy, porky sauce of mm -hmm. flavors. You dip my own some chili. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, mm. So we went on a, a limb and ordered the chili tofu. And I believe it's stuffed fully like that. Oh. I don't believe these chilies are that spicy, but let's see if it's actually that spicy. Wow, and this silken tofu is stuffed with also uh, spring onions and pork mince. I'm gonna try this. Oh, wow. Oh gosh. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, gosh. I think I shot you. Yeah. Is it good? Okay, there's a little kick to it, a little spice. Nothing too strong. I haven't gone to the tofu yet, but I can't wait to try this. Mm. This tofu, silken tofu, is so uh, bouncy. Wow. No, sorry, it's not stuff with tofu, it's stuff with pork mince. Mm. Sorry, like we mentioned. Mm. Try some of the broth. 
Wow, that's nice. It's like a vegetable broth. Yeah. Savory, it's good. Yum. I've been really excited about this Cheng Fun or the, the beef chak wai tel. So the noodles itself, it looks very wok tossed. It's got the wok he kind of um, mm -hmm. glaze to it, the wok kind of color. There's eggs in it, spring onions, mm. beef. Wow, it looks good. It's mm. saucy. It is very saucy, yeah. And I love the egg drop kind of stir fry, I love them. Especially the seafood ones. Mm -hmm. They are delicious, but this one also smells really nice. Wow. Oh, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks good. The color on it is great. Yum. Wow. We have not had the kind of flat noodle, flat rice noodle stir fry in a while. In a long while, yes. And the fish in this. Wow, this is generous. Not gonna lie, this hawker center is a hidden gem. This mm. is so good. There's so much food, ranging from you know Indian food, Cantonese food, mm -hmm. Hainanese food, all sorts. Yeah, and apparently it is one of the oldest hawker centers, operating over 60 years, and um, they've done well to keep up, you know, to keep to still be here uh, mm. and thriving, right? Mm. The also the soup, the curry is really good. Wow, it has such a kick to it. It's creamy. It's super delicious. Wow, I'm loving it. Oh, there's even um, tofu pasta, which is my favorite because it soaks up all of the broth and gives you that extra flavor. Mm. Uh, I need to try that. Mm -hmm. I want to grab some of There's still some fish. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks rather meaty. Oh, it smells good. That's really good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. And the fish, I believe they use stingray. Mm. They mentioned it was stingray and it was known here. They're mm -hmm. famous for that. So I was speaking to one of the chefs and they mentioned that it's recommended here. It is their dish. Mm -hmm. And no doubt, it's amazing. Give me this. Big bite with, uh, I believe it's cabbage and the tofu puff. Wow, the broth's so good. Oh, I have not had curry laksa in so long. That broth is so delicious. Mm. I mean, I don't think we're supposed to be just drinking it like that. But I they, love doing that. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely all offered us rice, which you're supposed to eat with it. Mm. But I mean, on its own, that's delicious. Mm. If they had um, the noodles from that dish in here, the flat rice noodles, I think I would love it even more. <laughs> How was that? You like that? I really like that. What's your favorite so far? Oh, that's hard to decide. I have this one, right? Let's try. So I really like the noodles because, I mean, we haven't had it in a while. And I've been craving, you know, Hong Kong, Cantonese kind of style noodles. Mm -hmm. And that's delicious nonetheless. But that is a game changer. That curry and fish. I've never had curry fish, actually. Mm. I haven't had curry fish. Especially curry head fish, mm. or fish head, sorry. But that's really good itself. These two, these two are definitely my favorite. Oh wow, the gravy in that is really good. Mm. Um, but because I have, I'm not too sure what it is, a dark sauce, mm. um, it helps to have that kick into it. Otherwise, it, I feel like the gravy can be a little bit sticky, but that's why you have the sauces on the side to add to it. Mm. And you're right, you can feel the wok, you can taste the wok. Um, yeah. It's really good. Yum. Cool. Mm. Right. Let's enjoy our meal. Mm -hmm. And get back to it. Mm. All the dishes are incredible. Mm. Wow, what a meal! Mm. Alright, so even though we've stuffed ourselves <laughs> with all that food earlier, we thought why not try the famous chendol? And it is huge, it's bigger than the size of my hand. Mm. <sighs> so, in it, it's shaved ice, there's coconut um, syrup, um, evaporated milk, red bean jellies in it. It's kind of like a bingsu crossed with a Vietnamese dessert, like the um, three three colored. Yeah, jia, which is the three colored um, desserts. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I'm, I can't wait to try this because I've heard so much about it. Yes. Ooh, so the ice already is really soft. It's melting a lot, quickly. Yeah. Red bean and I've got a lot of ice and a bit of the green uh, sort of jelly. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. It just melted in my mouth. That's really good. Uh, I think it's pandan tea. jelly? Mm. Pandan jelly. Pandan jelly. This one they have the open the donut, the red bean, the six item inside this is ABC. Mm. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So the owner just popped up and said, to, uh, told us, or advised us that this is Chendol, but there's also ABC, which is the Air Batu Cham Champu. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But that has, items, right? yeah, that has six items in it. They look relatively the same to us, but of course there's a difference. And this is really good. The red beans are soft. Sometimes it's dry, but it's soft. And the mm. panjan jelly, as you mentioned, it, it adds, it's so good. It's so sweet, but it's not uh, too much of a guilty pleasure. I don't feel mm. too bad eating it. <laughs> Oh, definitely just gonna say that. It's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. But the owner has given us more syrup. <laughs> just if we have a sweet too. But I, I wanna put that away. What was it? A red sugar and a brown sugar. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of sugars. This but is melting relatively quick. It is. The more we dig into it, the more it's melting. Mm -hmm. I'm not usually a fan of red bean, mm. but in this today, I am. Because it's not dry and it's just right. It's soft. Mm. Uh, it's perfect. It's like a perfect, perfect mm. dessert, especially on a hot kind of night like this. Mm -hmm. But I love the fact, yeah, it's, it doesn't make you feel guilty just because it's so sweet, which it's not. And yeah, what a good way to finish off dinner. Yeah, no, definitely a great way. <laughs> okay, so we made it back to the Petronas Towers and we secured a spot right in front of the light down show. So there are two different performances. I think just a light show on its own without any sound mm. that runs hourly, I think 7.30, 8.30 and 9.30. Um, it's almost 8 o'clock and that's when the light and sound show. So there's 8 p.m., 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. And we're quite excited, so let's see how good it is. vlog today and wow we had some incredible food honestly and I am mind blown with just how spectacular KL is in Malaysia. Also the Twin Towers looks incredible during the day but even more incredible at night time so uh, wow. I had an amazing day as well so far everything and everyone that we've interacted with and all the food that we've tried has been amazing the people are beautiful I mean everything about Kuala Lumpur it just blows my mind. I did not expect it. I've never been. This is my first time here. And yeah, everything has been great. Mm, definitely enjoying the diversity as well. Um, that's also been a really interesting uh, aspect of KL at Malaysia. And um, yeah, we do have other spots to hit in the next vlog. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah,